now shall we move to verse number 2 yeah in verse number 2 bhagwan is going to say how the sanyasi himself is a yogi how the sanyasi is a yogi that uh, bhagwan is going to point out though we did hint that on let's look at bhagwan's own words yam sanyasa mete prahu Yogam tam vidhi pandava Nahya sanyasta sankalpaha Yogi bhavati kashchana Together Yam sanyasa mete prahu Yogam Okay. Gurudev has explained this verse or communicated this verse very beautifully and very easily for us to understand. Someone came up to Gurudev and asked him when he was going to enter the car. But as far as you know, enter the train, whatever he is going to enter somewhere. Someone came and asked Gurudev, Swamiji, what is Vedanta in a nutshell? And what's the answer that Gurudev gave? Hmm. Detach and attach. And Gurudev lifted his leg from the lower road, detach from the lower and attach to the higher. Now, Bhagavan Krishna is saying the same thing. What is he saying? Detach from the lower desires. Detach from the lower desires. That is sannyasa. What is sannyasa? Kama Tyaga is sannyasa. Detach from the lower desires. Okay, what is yoga? Attach to the higher. Attach to the higher. And when I attach to the higher, my mind does not go through agitations. Chitta avikshepa is yoga. Kamatyaga results in chitta avikshepa. This detaching and attaching cannot be independent completely. I cannot attach unless I detach. Now, uh, when I remove the cause, effect is removed. Yes or no? When the cause is removed, effect is removed. The cause of all our agitations is a sort of desire. That is the cause of all our agitations. Desires relating to body or mind or intellect. That is the cause of all my agitations. Now remove that desire, cause, then what happens is the agitations also come to a standstill. There are no agitations at all. So Bhagwan says like this, now all the advertisers know that we get very agitated. Not only that, Bhagwan uses the word Sankalpa. Sankalpa means here, fanciful imaginations. And this is what all corporates, all advertisers, advertisers make use of. Fanciful imagination. What happens is, for the first time that we saw pizza advertisement, okay, I remember we used to see Arun ice cream advertisement and all that. And there will be a lady who will take that ice cream and mm, like that. My mother also together will say, mm, but no taking. Yeah. So what happens is I keep seeing and I feel that really there is some mm, and when I take it, I really start experiencing that mm, also. True or not? So fanciful imagination, a fanciful imagination that we have to drop. Now, um, why should I drop it? Why not I entertain that desire, fulfill it and then keep quiet? I will keep quiet. It never happens like that. The nature of a desire is like a cycle pedal. When you fulfill one and pull, push down one, the other has already come up. 
you push down this the other has already come up no way guruji used to say it is like tissue paper in the tissue box you go on oh idu thana ukkandu iruka one desire come on i will fulfill you take it out the next one will come and stand there time like that it will stand there so it goes on coming so the only way to come out is to put our thinking hat on put it on and then start thinking do you really need that object do you really need that circumstance start thinking now when we are speaking about desires it is only selfish desires that we mean please okay think do i really need it to make me happy and no sooner we start thinking most of the things that we think are completely needed will all vanish as not needed vanish as not needed chennai floods those who were caught in it would have really realized what is it that is actually needed and what all unnecessary is there guruji used to say if for 3 months something i have not used then it means that that is actually not required for me okay we will look into the word meaning yam sanyasam iti prahu whatever we call as sanyasa what is called as sanyasa yogam tam vidhi please understand that that same thing only is yoga why why are you saying like that asanyast sankalpaha one who has not given up asanyast sankalpaha fanciful imaginations one who has not given up fanciful imaginations or desires na yogi bhavati kashchana he can never ever become a yogi it is not possible for him to become a yogi our same example detach attach one who has not detached can he attach to the higher never possible that's what bhagwan is saying a sanyasta sankalpaha one who has not given up the lower desires he can never ever become a yogi with his mind in quietness a mind quiet that he can never achieve attain or achieve okay now third verse okay how to do this what should i do what should i do how this actual sanyasa and yoga can be experienced by me what should i do that is third verse we'll read the verse aru rukshor munir yogam aru rukshor munir yogam karma karana mochyate Bhagwan is taking the example which Arjuna can easily understand. Not only Arjuna, even us, we can easily understand. Do we all like sitting on a horse? Say yes. yes. Thank you. If we go to beach and there is a horse and uh, some man is going, even though I don't know how to ride a horse, if I'm a small child, no fear at all. What do I say? I say, now no, I'm a horse man. I should sit. I should sit. All of us like at least sitting on a horse. and taking a photograph now here arjuna is a prince very much aware of horse riding arjuna is taken back to see how he rides how he gets on to a horse and how he becomes comfortable so how do i get on to a horse what i do is i hold the reins of the horse in one hand and with the other hand i hold the saddle of the horse the place where we sit i hold it then what do i do i keep running with the horse then slowly as i pick up speed i take one leg of mine the right leg and put it on top 
and has it become comfortable no not yet comfortable but do i drop it off no i keep it in that position and i continue running with the other leg it may be very difficult also because two fingers of my leg only may be touching the earth but still i continue and with one effort i settle myself on top of that saddle on the horse and once i settled myself then my journey is so smooth and beautiful relax hair fly fine fine go on very beautiful and after that i just need to ensure that it is on the route it is on the path which i have chosen not move here and there that is all that i need to ensure and i enjoy the ride this is how you get on top of a horse so what is happening first is lots of effort run with it and then after that no effort everything in life to be smooth is from effort to effortlessness meditation also effort to effortlessness in the beginning to sit also 2 minutes effort slowly 2 minutes nothing 5 minutes effort 15 minutes effort in 15 minutes nothing cash on from effort to effortlessness is the move anything even in life from effort to effortlessness my mind is running here and there how do i become steady in yoga yoga is chitta avikshepanam no avikshepa in the chitta okay how do i become steady how does my mind become quiet and a quiet mind will slowly become alert and that alert mind i must make it vigilant get on top relaxed but then keep on the path for that alertness and vigilance is required so how do i achieve it the first stage is to work without self first stage work without self second stage work on self what is this first stage is to work without selfishness lot of work i should do but no selfishness everything is selfless selfish gurudev used to say shellfish you say like that why because among all fish varieties i a good um i have not smelled okay but gurudev has said that the shellfish only will smell most badly and no one wants that smell at all hmm? shellfish when i am shellfish that vasana stink will be so much and not nice work without the self without self which means work without selfishness vasana stink comes down and the second stage is when vasana has come down mind has become quiet now in the second stage work on self if i have a child okay 1 year old 6 months 1 year old what will i give that child more milk 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 in different forms milk but suppose i have a child 15 years old will i give milk 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 for that child i start giving bread toast dosa ghee roast dosa all these things i start giving now supposing for the 6 month old baby i give ghee roast i don't care another bread roast what will happen to that child it will choke it can't take it it may become the full stop for its existence also same way on this path i want to keep quiet and meditate give toast to someone who is a starter child in the path of spirituality child lots of desires lots of vasana agitation and i want to give toast dhyana meditation the child may choke the seeker may get choked he may not even proceed on the path the seeker in him may come to a standstill so lord says first what you have to do is aru ruksho ho munehe yogam 
for a seeker munehe for a thinker and what does he want to do he wants to climb on top of that yoga he wants to climb to a mind quiet alert and vigilant what should i give him first karma karana nuchyate the source for it or that which will facilitate his desire will only be karma karma means karma yoga here karma yoga becomes the source for that so this person has to do his duty and he has to keep doing his duty he can work and he must tire himself working non stop he should work but it should be not be for me for me for me work without self that is what he should do and once he is on top yoga rudasya tasya for him what should be given once the mind is quiet what should be done ensure that the quietness gets retained relax ensure that the quietness gets retained be alert if it is going off track gather it back put it on path and that is what i should do yoga rudasya tasya eva shamaha karana uchyate absorption of mind in the self becomes important only for that yoga rudaha lots of action to no action from lots of action move to no action now my question is o oh, bhagwan how do i know whether i am ready for this uh, uh, no action yoga rudaha should i be drinking milk only how do i know whether i am ready for taking a, a bread toast and annapurna ghee roast how do i know